The Owl Critic by James T. Field, read for LibriVox.org by Francis Brown. The Owl Critic Who stuffed that white owl? No one spoke in the shop. The barber was busy and he couldn't stop. The customers waiting their turns were all reading the Daily, the Herald, the Post, little heeding. The young man who blurted out such a blunt question, not one turned ahead, or even made a suggestion. And the barber kept on shaving. Don't you see, Mr. Brown, cried the youth with a frown, how wrong the whole thing is, how preposterous each wing is, how flat in the head is, how jammed on the neck is, and sure the whole owl with an ignorant wreck is. I make no apology. I've learned owlology. I've passed days and nights in a hundred collections, and cannot be blinded to any deflections arising from unskillful fingers that fail to stuff a bird right from its beak to its tail. Oh, Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, do take that bird down or you'll be laughing stock all over the town. And the barber kept on shaving. I've studied owls and other night fowls and tell you what I know to be true. An owl cannot roost with its limbs so well loosed. No owl in this world ever had his claws curled, ever had his legs slanted, ever had his bill canted, ever had his neck screwed into that attitude. He can't do it because, tis against all bird laws, anatomy teaches, ornithology preaches, an owl has a toe that can't turn out so. I've made the white owl my study for years, and to see such a job almost moves me to tears. Mr. Brown, I'm amazed you should be so gone crazed as to put up a bird in that posture absurd. To look at that owl really brings on a dizziness. The man who stuffed him don't half know his business. And the barber kept on shaving. Examine those eyes, I'm filled with surprise taxidermists should pass off on you such poor glass. So unnatural they seem, they'd make Audubon scream, and John Burroughs laugh to encounter such chaff. To take that bird down, have him stuffed again brown, and the barber kept on shaving. With some sawdust and bark, I could stuff in the dark, an owl better than that. I can make a long hat look more like an owl than that horrid fowl, stuck up there so stiff like the side of coarse leather. In fact, about him, there's not one natural feather. Just then, with a wink and a sly normal lurch, the owl very gravely got down from his perch, walked round and regarded his fault-finding critic, who thought he was stuffed with a glance analytic, and then fairly hooted as if he should say, You're learning at fault this time, anyway. Don't waste it again on a live bird, I pray. I'm an owl, you're another. So critic, good day. And the barber kept on shaving. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.